And then uh, maybe unrecognizable to, to many of you in the rooms if you have not seen him in the last year or two, is another one of the old industry standards here with Zach Nelson, the CEO of NetSuite. And I think everybody knows Zach's history in the on-demand space and what he's been Customize it for a customer? Probably not. <laughs> I'm going to get one to two times that. So somehow, to service the mid-market, not only do you have to reduce the cost of delivery, you have to reduce the cost of services even though you're effectively delivering the same level of application functionality. And in the case of NetSuite, you're actually de delivering more application functionality. You're running their business, not just their accounting department. So that's the challenge. So software as service, I believe, is going to become service as software. The only way to solve this problem is to take one-off services and deliver those services, in effect, as packaged, repeatable applications. It's the only way to solve that problem. It's what we focused on at NetSuite, and I think this is the future of the services industry. So one-off services must become reusable, resellable. This has been the fantasy. Ray Lane had this fantasy when we were at Oracle. My God, we could build templates and take these customizations and repeat them for these customers. And it was in, it was, we were unable to accomplish that at Oracle on that code base. You can actually accomplish that in NetSuite today. Um, I'm going to skip through this because it's too complicated. But the idea is basically this notion. Instead of doing one-off services, build that warranty management system once, and sell it to multiple companies, reuse it over and over and over again. And that's basically what we've built in this thing we call NS Boss, which is our platform, if you will. Basically a suite of tools that enable you to build, customize, uh, change the application, and most importantly, distribute the application. This notion of Suite Bundler, being able to take customizations and sell them over and over and over again with no recoding. Suite Bundler is a very important piece of our, our stack. So this is sort of the notion, build, if, you're in, if you're a VAR, build those customizations. This is, it's this easy, it's two steps, select those customizations and inject them in another instance of NetSuite. So I built warranty management for one company, sell it to another company. The second big idea is to go beyond that, and that is to literally build vertical solutions on top of NetSuite and literally take, a, take NetSuite and customize it for government services. We have DAST in here today, one of our partners. They're building a version of NetSuite for, custom, uh, for government services. They're adding all the stuff for DAS and defense contracting. They're building it in, and they're going to go sell it over and over and over and over again to people in the government services business. They're building on top of our core application, but they're bringing the domain expertise to make it happen. And so once you do this, suddenly the economics change. You go for, you, guess what? You can sell a vertical application for much more than you can a horizontal application because it looks like my business. Wow, that government services application looks a lot better than this generic hunk of code here that I have to customize. So suddenly you get, you're in the software business and guess what? You can charge more for services even though you probably have to do less work to do it because you've already built it into the application. So I think this is really the future model for software and, um, and that's what I wanted to get through and then we can get to your questions. So thank you very much and I'll turn it over to <laughs> Trev. Um, the NetSuite strategy is very different. You know, we are what we call our NS Boss environment is effectively the same tool set that Salesforce <coughs> provides you in force.com. But we're not saying come and just build on our Oracle database. We're saying come here and build on our application. We've already built an accounting system. We've built a CRM system. We've built an e-commerce system. Extend that to help businesses be more productive. So our development platform is our application. I think Salesforce's development platform is a database. It's not, their CRM application isn't even in the force.com stack, as far as I can tell. They're not saying build on salesforce.com the application. They're saying build on salesforce.com the database. And I think both strategies are fine. They're very different. But I think that strategy is far more competitive with what Google and Microsoft are talking about than what we're talking about and doing with companies like Dastin to say, you could go build Dastin on force.com, but guess what? You'd have to build an accounting system. You'd have to build an e-commerce system, all these other things. Instead, just we've already built that. You build the extensions that make sense for that industry. So I think there are many sorts of platforms that will evolve. Our focus happens to be on running businesses 